Let us see about the SCR protection circuit. So SCR is a very sensitive device and we need to protect the SCR from over voltage and over current. So DV by DT protection. So in the forward blocking mode, we know that outer two layers are forward biased and the central junction is uh, reverse biased. So this middle layer acts as a capacitor and a current flows through this capacitor that is given by C into DV by DT. So if this rate of change of voltage is high, current will be high, which in turn will turn on the SER. So we have to protect the SER from this DV by DT problem. So to limit the DV by DT, a as this number circuit can be used. So when this switch is closed, the current will start to flow through this capacitor. So capacitor gets charged slowly. So since capacitor is connected in parallel to the SER, voltage across the capacitor is same as the voltage across the SER. So voltage across SER increases slowly. But when it is charged fully, so you will get plus minus here, the capacitor voltage will become Vs. Now if this SER is turned on, this capacitor will discharge its current through this SER. So at that time current may be a very high value so that normally a resistor is connected in series with this capacitor to limit this discharge current. So this is a famous uh, circuit called the snubber circuit, RC snubber circuit which is used across uh, Yes, CR in almost uh, most of the applications. So next is DI by DT protection. So we are seeing that for DV by DT protection, we have used a RC circuit. Now to limit the rate of change of current, use an inductor in series with this combination. This will limit the current. So over voltage is the major cause of failure in SER and uh, over voltage may turn on the device unnecessarily. There are various uh, causes for this one both internal and external. So snubber circuit we have seen that it can be used for uh, DV by DT production but that is not sufficient for over voltage production. So you have to use some nonlinear resistors called voltage clamping devices. So these are uh, special um, characteristics such that during when the voltage is in normal level it offers high impedance path and when the voltage exceeds the rated value it offers a low impedance path to protect the SCR. So this nonlinear resistors will be connected across the SCR. The major cause for overcurrent protections are fall, short circuit and surge current. Since SCR has a small thermal time constant, meaning that uh, it cannot um, carry more than the load current for a long time. This overcurrent will generate heat and it will damage the SCR. So normally circuit breakers and fast acting current limiting fuses are used. So circuit breakers are used against continuous overload or surge currents of longer duration. Whereas this fast acting limiting fuses are used for protecting against large surge current of um, very short duration. So this is the SCR total protection circuit. So here is the SCR. So for uh, maintaining the temperature you can use a heat sink. Normally SER will be placed on the heat sink so that the heat generated here will be dissipated. Again this is a varistor for over voltage protection and this circuit breaker and fuse for over current protection and this is inductor is for DI by DT uh, limiting DI by DT and snubber circuit for DV by DT protection and again you have one more circuit this is for gate protection protecting the gate circuit 
so this capacitor or the zener diode is used to regulate the or maintain the voltage here and this resistors to limit the current through this gate the points to remember here are for dv by dt protection use snubber circuit in parallel for di by dt protection use inductance in series with ser for over voltage protection you can use both snubber and varistor or voltage clamping device for over current protection you can use circuit breaker and fast acting current limiting fuse so circuit breakers are used against continuous overloads of long duration fast acting fuses are used for large surge current of very short duration these are some of the questions which you can prepare for an interview so for answers you can um, find the link in description so these are some of the references and uh, if you like the video please do subscribe to read electric vehicle thank you